Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Leo. Keep in mind that this may not resonate with you, okay? It may not because there's no way that I can read every single person. The timing is also fluid, so this could have happened, could be happening in the future, you know, could be happening now. I would like to ask you not to leave any negative comments in the thread below about another sign. It's okay to, to not like somebody, but I don't, I don't want to hear what their sign is, okay? So this is for the sign of Leo. If you want to be notified of my Let's Talks, um, you have to hit the notification bell, okay? And that way you can join. We had one last night on Society and Strength. And I wanted to give a shout out to Pete, who was active. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, this is for the sign of Leo, the 18th through the 24th. We have the King of Cups came out in a challenge, a challenging way, okay, Scorpio, <laughs> Pisces, or Cancer, okay, so this can be man or a woman, or it could be any other sign, really, but this really represents a water sign, it's a challenge, there's a person in your life that is, is challenging you, it's, it came out sideways, when a card comes out sideways, it's a challenge, okay, I don't know what to, what way to put it, so I'm going to put it back in the deck and see if it comes out again. But it feels as though you are trying to figure out whether you, this person that you're dealing with, whatever sign they are, has good intentions for you or not. You're trying to figure that out. You, you don't know. Is this person being honest? Does this person love me? Is this person telling me the truth? Are they filling me up with fantasies? This person is is challenging you. Okay. You could be receiving some unexpected news that is not what you want to hear, okay? The Page of Swords brings in unexpected messages that are undesirable, okay? It's not what you want to hear, okay? Um, you know, it could bring some conflicts into your life. Maybe you're, there's, a, there's somebody who's not putting in much effort. They're not putting in the work. They're not doing their fair share, that could be the case as well. Somebody isn't working hard enough on a situation, and it could be bringing some conflicts into your life. Oh, son of a bitch. That son of a gun wants to come out. He does. He absolutely does. So whoever this person is, man or woman, because cups are feminine. Cups are feminine. So earth signs and water signs are feminine by nature, okay, I'm not saying that you guys, you females aren't feminine, but that's your dominant, okay, and fire signs and um, air signs are more masculine, it doesn't really matter, these can be male or female, so you are dealing with a male or female water sign, sun, moon, or water rising, who is very prominent in your life at this time, and apparently is, is, is bringing you some challenges, and he really wants to show up in your reading, he or she, Ooh, okay, so it looks as though there is some conflicts in this relationship. This person may not be putting in all the effort, they're mirroring each other, but they might not be really putting in the work that they need to put in to make this relationship blossom, okay, and it's causing some conflicts, all right, it feels as though... There is, there is, um, there is some ability for, for happiness. I mean, it's there. There could be some happiness that comes out of this. This card is going to be moved down to here because I'm only doing fours, not fives for these. Um, 
yeah, this person, and this makes sense. This person is bringing some conflicts into your life. This person is not working hard enough. Thank you, God, for helping me with that. Yeah, it's like you don't know if they love you. You don't know if they love you. You don't know if you love them. Oh, my goodness. And it may be, there could be a dead end. You could be, this could be the death of happiness, the death of a, of a commitment. The death of a relationship. The end of a relationship. This is, in many decks, this is a guy like laying on a coffin. It's kind of like, it can mean, these cards, they all mean so much. I'm a channeler as well. I don't just go by what the cards say. Okay? I go by what I feel. And here. Somebody's struggling. Somebody's really, really, really struggling here with that hangman. They're stuck. They're in limbo. And it feels though as though you may release. You may you may give up this fight because it doesn't feel like it's love. The ace of cups reversed is this is not emotionally content. It's not happy. It's not loving. It's not going anywhere. Okay. So I feel as though somebody's still hanging on. Somebody is absolutely hanging on. Somebody is still hanging on. Even though there's conflicts. Okay. Even though somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody is still hanging on. They are. Because they don't want to face the struggle. They don't want to, they don't want to face it. They're resisting the change. Resist, I resist this change. I do. I resist this change because... You know, I'm in denial. The Three of Swords is reversed is denial. Thank you, God. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Somebody is in denial about their true feelings here. They are. They are. But it feels as though, you know, you may be deciding to give up. Somebody may be deciding to give up this fight. No longer going to fight for this anymore. Okay. We've, we've been through enough and I don't have no fight left. I'm not sure if I did zoom this in. I did not. There we go. So. <sighs> so in the in your advice card, your advice is the hangman. That's your advice position. You're going to have to struggle through this. You are. It's time to let go. The hangman. It's time to let go. It's time to stop hanging around. It's time to stop sacrificing your time. It's time to it's time to stop wasting your time. It's time to struggle through this conflict. That's your advice. Your future is releasing and letting go. This is your future position. It's letting go. It's giving up. It's no longer wanting to give this your energy. We've given it all the all the chances we can give it. It's I I can't fight for this anymore. The fighting is I'm done. I'm done. It's done. It's over. Uh, it's time for me to to recuperate because this has been exhausting, exhausting. Okay, and I feel as though now it's time to mend these wounds and stop living in denial. This is mending wounds reversed and being in denial. I, I can't change the meaning. The outcome is healing. It's time to heal. It's time to mend. And it's time to accept the truth that something is not lovingly being, okay? It's not it's not whatever that is. We're going to get we're going to get some somebody is is not in love and I'm not sure who this is, but could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Because this can always go vice versa. We're going to get a clarifier on this. Basis of your reading. This is the basis of your whole reading. The Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody is not feeling the love. In a relationship. It's done. It's done. It's exhausting. You could have a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the mix. This person is in the, you know, scenario in some way. This person um, is very stable, very secure. 
And this card is also saying to be practical. It's time to be practical. You know, the tower, the tower. I know that you've been trying to avoid a breakup. You've been trying to avoid a, a upheaval. You've been trying to avoid it. But you can't avoid it forever. You can't. Somebody has been staying in a situation that isn't love because they don't want to deal with the upheaval. They don't want to deal with the struggles that it brings. They don't want to deal with the hurt. And, you're, and the thing is, is that you are going to continue to lack balance and organization and feel overwhelmed until you take the next step. Your advice is to take the next step. I can't change that to stop playing these games. You're dealing with a player. Now, I don't know who this is for. There could be a Capricorn involved. The future is releasing. It's letting go. It's being practical. It's being wise. It's finding your own security, being strong. Okay? It's letting go. This is your future position. I'm just going to put this up here so we can see it. It's about being practical and releasing. It's closing the door. Standing up for yourself. Defending yourself. Standing strong. That's in your future. In the future, you are going to be practical and stand up for yourself. The outcome is forgiving and healing. Accepting a truth. You're dealing with somebody that isn't trustworthy. The Knight of, of, of Swords isn't trustworthy. They steal your energy. So perhaps it's time to, to turn away from this. To end this feud. This could be in the outcome, somebody moving out, a change in your home, a change in your circumstances. And taking the time to heal, taking all the time you need to heal. There's no rush. There's no rush. It's time for you to heal and regain the energy that has been taken from you from this person that... I believe didn't have your best interests at heart. Maybe they did in the beginning because there was happiness at one time. But it looks like it there isn't any more. And you've been criticized. You may have felt like you were attacked at times. And now it's time to take back your power, Leo. So I feel like this is a week of turning away. from fighting it's a it's a week of of releasing it's a week of taking the next step in regards to your own healing okay do i see new love coming in i do not i do not because there's not i mean i can't say that there is with the ace of cups right in the basis that's the basic reversed it feels like somebody is is falling out of love whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with And somebody fears this change. They fear the struggle. So that they, they are staying in a false commitment. Because they don't want to deal with the breakup. But Or, you know, I'm not sure what this is. But I feel, or if you are single. If you are single, you are, you are still, you're working through the healing. You're still healing. The outcome is still healing. But still being in denial. The Three of Swords reverse is being in denial. It is over love. So some of you are needing to 
realize that this person, whoever it is that you were dealing with, with, was an energy thief because the Knight of Swords reverse is an energy thief. And, it's, and, and your advice in the future is to stand up for yourself and release it. Let it go. Close that door. Be practical. Be responsible. Do the right thing. Do Have integrity. Right around the corner. Right around the corner. You will find structure. You will find happiness. You will find contentment. We have happy. This is around the corner. You will find contentment. You will start to feel structured and organized again. You will find your power right around the corner. You are going to take the lead. You are going to be the boss. You are going to take control of the situation. It is going to happen, but you are going to have to be decisive and to stand strong. Right around the corner, you are about to stand up for yourself. That's what I see in the future for you, Leo. So I feel like this is a week of acknowledging the truth about a relationship in which you have not wanted to acknowledge for some time. And I do apologize, but that is the message. We're going to get a couple of these angel romance cards for you, Leo, and see what comes up. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you want to take it. Playfulness. And you know, it came out reversed. So there's been a lack of playfulness. Okay? But it's time to find it. To recap your romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Can you do that with this person? Can you? If you can't, then that's not love. Oh, okay. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. We all know what codependency means. And on the bottom of the deck, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't hide this. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time. So that's your message. It's time to take back control of your life. You're the boss. Nobody else. So that's my message, Leo, for this week. Do I see new love coming in? No. I see you guys releasing something that isn't love. Talk to you later.